learning better to say discussion about the cell cycle of eukaryotes Are you aware that all organisms, even the largest, even elephant or big banyan tree, starts their life from a single cell? You may wonder how a single cell then goes on to form such a large organism. Growth and reproduction are characteristics of cell, indeed of all living organisms. Such cycle of growth and division allows a single cell to form a structure consisting of millions of cells. Now, what is cell cycle? Cell cycle or cell division cycle is the life of a cell from formation to its own division. Means it is a sequential event by which a cell duplicates its genome, synthesizes the other constituents which are required for cell division, like other organelles, etc., and of the cell and eventually divide into two daughter cells. These are the diagrammatic representation of cell cycle. In case of eukaryotic cell, the cell cycle is composed of interphase followed by dividing phase. The first interphase is acquired the most time span of the cell cycle and the mitotic phase or dividing phase acquire very small time span. The first stage of cell cycle is G1 or primary growth phase. Here the cellular content Excluding the chromosomes are duplicates. Then the next stage is synthesis stage where the DNA molecules of the cell replicates to create their duplicate. And next stage is G2 stage or secondary growth phase. The cell double check the duplicate chromosomes for error. If any error are present in the formation of duplicate chromosome cell, then they needed the repair in this G2 phase. And thereafter, and these two, these three phases collectively is called interphase, means G1, G S, and G2. All these three phases, inter, all these three phases are collectively called interphase. The next phase is mitotic phase where the cell divides. We have to say the nucleus divides to form two nucleus. And the last stage is cytokinesis where the cytokinesis where the cytoplasm of the cell divides and ultimately two daughter cells are produced. Now, how the cell cycle are controlled? For cell cycle control, uh, you know the checkpoint. Obviously, you know the checkpoint. Uh, when uh, you are going on highway, there is so many checkpoints where the authority check whether you have all the documents of the vehicle. If you have, then they allow it to go or either you have not then they restrict you similarly a checkpoint is one of several points in the eukaryotic cell cycle at which the progression of a cell to the next stage is the uh, to the next stage in cycle can be halted until conditions are favorable these checkpoints occur near the end of G1. Near the end of G1, there is a checkpoint where they check all the necessary work are done here or not. The next checkpoint is at the 
G2 and mitotic phase junction, transaction of the G2 and mitotic phase is the next checkpoint and the last checkpoint is within the M phase or metaphase. Now, G1 stage or gap 1 stage. This is the first growth stage after cell division. First growth stage after cell division. Here, cell mature by making more cytoplasm and organelles are duplicate in this phase. Cell carries on its normal metabolic activity at this stage. Thereafter, S phase or synthesis phase. Synthesis phase is the stage where the DNA molecules replicates. One original DNA molecule in this stage replicates to form two identical copy of DNA. Okay. Next, G2 stage. This is the second growth stage after S phase or synthesis phase. Once after DNA has been the copy, this phase is stuck. Cell prepared for division by synthesizing both organelles and proteins required for division at this phase. After this phase, cell enter in this phase. This is the overall diagrammatic representation of the cell cycle. Where G1 is G2 and mitotic phase and after cytokinesis, two daughter cells are produced. These daughter cells either enter again in cell cycle to produce another two cells or they escape from the cell cycle. Now, if they exit, then what cell? Then the cells go to G0 stage. What is G0 stage? The G0 phase or resting phase is a period in the cell cycle in which cells exist in each cell state. G0 phase is viewed as either an extended G1 phase where the cell is neither dividing nor preparing for division or a distinct vision stage that occurs outside the cell cycle. Cells of the permanent tissue are in G0 phase. Okay. They may not divide until death or cell until death of the cell or they can re-enter in cell cycle and divides to produce new cells. Mitosis. After this interface, the cell enter in mitotic phase. Mitosis occurs in somatic cells and the main objective of this type of cell division is growth and development as well as healing by replacing the dead or damaged body cell. Okay. Division of nucleus and cytoplasm occurs in this case and, or, and the mitosis only occurs in eukaryotes. Then what happens in prokaryotic cell? Prokaryotic cell divides by a, another process of cell division called amitosis or binary fission. Bacteria divides in this Now the next question is where mitosis occur? Where? In plant system, mitosis frequently found in meristematic region of growing teeth, that is root teeth, shoot teeth, leaf teeth, or in food system. In addition to growing teeth, where the primary growth occur, mitosis occurs during the secondary growth also in plants. That's mean in the region of lateral mainstream. In region of lateral mainstream also mitosis occurs. Next, mitotic division also occurs in injured portion of the plant body for healing. Means new cells replace the dead or damaged cell, body cell and heal the injury. These are the photograph of a cell, a root tip, sorry, a root tip where the meristematic zone shows 
several dividing cell. That means cell division, high rate of cell division occurs in this mesometric zone of tip. The cell divides mitotically to produce two identical daughter cells. Identical in what sense? Each of them contain exactly the same number of chromosomes as their mother cells. The cell contains DNA molecule. We know the cell contains DNA molecule. In, uh, within the cell, DNA are present in two forms, either in chromatin form or in chromosome form. Now, what is chromatin form? Chromatin is a long thin strands made up of DNA and protein. The protein helps the DNA to stay together when chromosomes are formed. Now chromosomes, where, when formed chromosomes, before cell division, each chromatin is duplicated or copied. Hence, each chromosome contains two chromatins. Each chromatin is a single molecule of DNA. Each chromatin is a single molecule of DNA. Hence, a chromosome, a metaphasic chromosome, a single metaphysic chromosome contain two DNA molecules, that is two chromatin. These are the electron micrograph of a metaphysic chromosome. Most of the eukaryotes have 10 to 50 chromosomes in their body cells. In general, however, you would be surprised to know about the ophioglossum, a teridophyte teleophytic plant of eoglossum which has the highest chromosome count for any known living organism. How many? With 12 equal to 1260 chromosomes. Every single cell of ophioglossum contain 1260 chromosomes. In contrast, the lowest identified chromosome number is 12 equal to 4, only 4. The highest 1260 and the lowest is only 4. It is found in 6 species of angiosperm. For example, Ornithogalum pigmifolium or Colpodium versicola. The 12 equal to 4. Very common plant, onion, here the cell, the onion cell have 16 chromosomes in their body cell or somatic cell. The 16 chromosomes alternatively known as 8 identical pairs of chromosomes. Now, for accurately equal distribution of the nuclear DNA material into two daughter cells, the chromatin condensed and high packed to form chromosome. A double helix DNA together with histone and non-histone protein form a nucleosome model, this nucleosome and all nucleosome together supercoil to form a chromosome. Each chromosome contain two sister chromatin. This one and this is another point and this is known as centromere this portion is known as centromere it is fact it is fact that the DNA molecule are present in all living cells but chromosomes are present in dividing cells only that means when cells are not in dividing phase when it is in interface the chromosomes are not structured they are Chromatin is present in, in this interface cell. Duplicated chromosomes are called chromatin and are held together by the centromere. These are one chromatin and these are another chromatin. And these two are together by centromere. Out of these two chromatin, one origin is from parental, parent, one origin from the parent and another is replicated during S phase or synthesis phase of the cell cycle. 
Now, this portion of the chromosome is known as arm. This is one arm of the chromosome and this is another arm of the chromosome. These are long arm and short arm. And this one is one chromatid and another chromatid. Two chromatid together form a metaphasic chromosome. This two chromatids is known as sister chromatids. Each of two chromatids separate from each other to form two daughter chromosomes with exactly duplicate DNA materials. Hence it is clear that the formation of DNA is required for exactly equal distribution of the nuclear material in two newly formed daughter cells. Okay. Next. Though it is not related to plant, but it is interesting that sex chromosome in human there is two types of sex chromosome X chromosome and Y chromosome. In male, human being, these two types of chromosomes are present one Y chromosome and one X chromosome. But in female, both chromosomes are Y. That means female contain two Y chromosomes, not contain any X chromosome, and male contain one Y chromosome and one X chromosome. Therefore, during fertilization, the female gametes always contain Y chromosome, and male gamete, 50% of male gamete contain Y chromosome, and another 50% of male gamete contain X chromosome. So, there is a 50% chance that Y chromosome of the male parents fuse with the Y chromosome of female parents and another 50% chance X chromosome of the male parents fuse with Y chromosome of the female parents. Therefore, the offspring, 50% chance of the offspring is boy contain one Y and one X and another 50% chance is offspring is their guard because containing both two chromosome one. Hence the offspring male, boy or girl is depend on male, not in female. Events of mitotic cell division is divided into two phases, karyokinesis or nuclear division and another is cytokinesis where cytoplasm divide or cytoplasmic division. Again the inter again the inter events of the nuclear division that is karyokinesis is divided into four phases prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. This is the photograph of early stage of prophase. Chromatin in nucleus condenses to form visible chromosome at this phase. The mitotic spindle forms from fiber in cytoskeleton in case of plant cell or from centrium in case of animals. Dead stage of prophase. Nuclear membrane and nucleolus are broken down and disappear in this stage. So the nuclear material, that is chromosomes, are freely floating in the cytosome. Chromosomes continue condensing and are clearly visible in this phase. Metaphase. During metaphase, Chromosomes are rich in maximum condensation states. Therefore, when we are want to study the morphology of chromosome, then we select this metaphasic chromosome for the study. All the chromosomes, all the chromosomes are arranged in equatorial plane. This is the original photograph of a metaphase of mitotic cell division of allium. Uh, Onion cell. All the chromosomes are arranged in equatorial plane. 
Next, the mitotic spindle forms from microtubules in case of plant cell and from the centriole in case of animals. Chromosomes are attached with spindle fiber in centromere region with the help of kinetochore. What is kinetochore? Kinetochore is a structure where chromosomes are attached with the microtubule of spindle fiber. These are the known as, this structure is known as kinetochore. Now, what's happening in metaphase? Mitotic spindle appear. Chromosomes align on metaphasic plate all together. And the spindle fiber, whichever is attached with the chromosome, is known as kinetochore microtubule. And which one is not attached with the chromosome is known as polar microtubule. Kinetochore attached chromosome to mitotic spindle and align them along metaphase plate at equatorial of the cell. Anaphase. You see in this diagram, these are the metaphase and anaphase. What is the difference? In case of metaphase, this chromosome contains two chromatids and both chromatids are separated from each other in anaphytic stage. The anaphytic, through anaphytic movement, these chromatids, newly formed chromatids, are moved towards the pole, to opposite pole. During anaphase, each chromatid moves towards opposite pole by kinetochore fiber. After separation, each chromatid forms daughter chromosome. Therefore, the chromosome's number of newly formed cells are always constant. That means here two chromosomes, and if there is a cell tape, this cell contains two chromosomes, and this cell also contains two chromosomes. So always the number is constant. During anaphase, each chromatid moves towards opposite pole by kinetochore fiber. These are the original photographs of anaphase. Here we see two set of chromosomes, newly formed chromosomes, are moved towards two opposite pole. Telophase. This is the last phase of mitotic cell division. Sister chromatids. Two sets of sister chromatids reached at opposite pole in telophase. Spindle disassembled, nuclear envelope formed around each set of sister chromatids. Nucleolus reappeared, chromosome reappeared at chromatid, and at the end of telophase, cytokinesis or cytoplasmic division starts. Now cytokinesis. Cytokinesis refers to division of cytoplasm following nuclear division. Plant cytokinesis differs from animal cytokinesis. In plant cell, cell plate forms at the equatorial to divide cell. In animal cell, cleavage furrow forms to split cell. During telophase in plant cell, membrane enclosed vesicles derived from the Golgi apparatus migrate to the equatorial plane and fuse to form a cell plate. Eventually, the growing cell plate fused with the existing plasma membrane, producing two daughter cells, each with its own plasma membrane. A new cell wall forms between the two membranes of the cell plate and two daughter cells are produced in this way. 
This is the sequential stage of mitotic cell division. Here interface, the nuclear material is in chromatin form within the nucleus. Prophase, the condensation start and chromatin start to condense to form a chromosome and metaphase, the condensation reach is ultimate state and the chromosomes are counted. These are the anaphase when the chromatid of each chromosome separated from each other and moved towards the opposite pole in anaphase. Telophase where two sets of daughter chromatids are reached at two opposite poles. The daughter chromatid, better to say, chromosome. Daughter chromosome are moved to opposite pole and after cytokinesis two daughter cells are produced. Each of these daughter cells are equal with the interface. In 
case of meiosis, back-to-back -back two successive division takes place, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Meiosis 1 is the reduction division where chromosome number reduced to half, whereas meiosis 2 is the equal division, that is a type of mitotic division where chromosome number remains unchanged. Therefore, meiosis 1 is the key stage where two main objectives of the meiotic cell division that is genetic recombination through crossing over and reduction of chromosome number to half is executed. These are the overall diagrammatic representation of meiotic cell division from spore mother cell, diploid spore mother cell, four haploid spores are produced through meiotic cell division. The entire events of meiosis 1 is again divided into four phases prophase, metaphase, prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1, and telophase 1. Prophase 1 is again divided into five subphases that is, leptotiny, zygotiny, behitiny, diplotiny, and diagnosis. Prophase 1 Liptotin. In liptotin stage, the DNA recoil and uh, condensation starts. During zygotiny, degree of condensation increases to form chromosome structures. Pachyte homologous chromosomes become closely associated in synapses, crossing over spores in this stage. Diplotin. Bivalents are more condensed with many eggs like chiasmata are observed in diplotin state. The nuclear membrane and the nucleolus were starting to disappear in this stage. Diagonalysis. More condensed chromosome with perfect homo chromosome pairing with haploid number of bivalents are observed at this stage. The nuclear membrane and nucleolus are completely disappeared at this stage. Meiosis 1 Crossing over occurs during the packaging stage of the prophase 1 division. Crossing over among two non-sister chromatic among two non-sister chromatic of homologous pair. Reduced reciprocal exchange, resulted reciprocal exchange of genetic material which ultimately mixed up and hereditary factor of the male and female parents are transgenes in offspring. Crossing over produce natural recombinant chromosomes. Due to crossing over and X-like structures that is chiasmata are observed. These are the chiasmata. This is the photograph of different stage of meiosis 1. Pachytony, diplotiny, diakinesis, both are under prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1, and telophase 1. During metaphase 1, each homologous chromosome pair reached in reach in arranged in equatorial plane. Chromosomes are attached with spindle fiber in centromere region with the help of kinetome. It is homologous pair. That means the locus of each gene are same. This pair is known as homologous pair. This chromatid and this chromatid are called non-sister chromatid. And these two are called sister chromatid. These two sister chromatid these two sister chromatid and these two is non sister chromatid. Homologous. Both chromosomes are known as homologous and the pair is known as homologous pair. This is the original photograph of bivalent homologous pair. Anaphase 1. 
During anaphase 1, each homolog chromosome of the homologous pair moves towards opposite pole. After separation, one homolog chromosome of each pair moves towards opposite pole. Therefore, one set of haploid chromosome moves towards one pole and another set towards opposite pole. Telophase 1. During telophase 1, anaphasic movements are completed and each set of haploid chromosomes reached at the opposite pole. One set of haploid chromosome reached at one pole and another reached in opposite pole. Hence, the chromosome number of newly formed cell of the dyad are half of their parents. Ultimately, two cell dyads are produced. Each cell of the dyad are haploid, just half of their diploid parent cell. Meiosis 2. Meiosis 2 is a type of mito meio mito is a type of mitotic cell division or equal cell division, where chromosome number remain unchanged. During meiosis 1, the chromosome number reduced to half, and this half chromosome number is constant after meiosis 2. Each cell of the dyad undergoes prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1, and telophase 1 subsequently, same as mitotic division. And ultimately, four cell tetrads are produced. Each of these cells are haploid, just half of their diploid parent. Each cell of the diploid, each cell of the tetrad are known as microspore, which germinates in future and gives rise to hematophytic plant. These are the photographs of some stage of meiosis 2. This is metaphase 2, where each cell of the dyad are in metaphase stage. These are the anaphase 2, where this cell and this cell, both cell of the dyad are in anaphase. Telophase 2, and these are the late telophase, where the cell plates are visible. These cell plate are visible in equatorial plane of both cells of the dye. Now, the difference of meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. What is the difference of meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 in gist? Meiosis 1, where one chromosome of each bivalent separates from each other and moves towards opposite pole. Hence, Chromosome number reduced to half. Total four chromosome, two are in this and two are in this side. Therefore, each cell, newly produced cell, contain two chromosome. Whereas in meiosis two, one chromatid of each chromosome separates from each other and moves towards opposite pole. Hence, chromosome number not reduced but equal. Here is two and one chromatid this side, one chromatid this side. So the newly formed two cells contain two chromatids. At the end of meiosis two, there are four haploid cells containing only one copy of each chromatid. For onion, allium seta, each haploid cell has eight chromatids. None of these haploid cells are alike due to crossing. That's mean this why this is why every seeds of the same plant are produced genetically unique, not same. Thank you. This is I acknowledge this, the maximum figure used in this presentation are taken from Google. Thank you very much.